Hello grade two and welcome back to our part three of our pop-up book project. And last time I saw you, I showed you how to draw monster number one. Okay. And today we're going to work on monster number two and monster number three. So I have my pen here and I'm going to get started. And this time, let's see what I create, okay? So I think in the middle right here, I'm gonna put one big eyeball right there. This is a different kind of monster today. And I'm gonna follow the line, whoops, and bring it down like that. Don't do that little mess up there. And I think, let's see. I'm gonna connect it and go up and over. All right. And I'm gonna put some. Eyelashes coming off his head. And now I'm gonna start at the corner. And I'll bring it out far this time and go down. You see? So let me do that on the other side. Okay. And I think this guy is going to have maybe some wiggly ears on the side of his head. He's more of an alien, I would say. Or looks more like an alien, right? Okay. And let's see, I think he's gonna have a really skinny neck. And shoulders are pretty easy for this. You just make them go down. Okay. And again, if you want, you can make him have as many fingers as you want. I'll make him have three and they're real skinny and long like that. I'll put maybe one on that. And let's see, you know what? I think I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna just get a little hair on his head. And I'm gonna make it go down to his ear. Hmm. See that? And I, you know what? I think I am gonna put his other hand in. I think that kind of helps fill in that spot a bit. There. And I think I'll put a half circle there. Okay. Now, the reason why I showed you that is because I want to show you now how you can take a piece of scrap paper. Like I have this little old scrap and I'm going to use it is I'm gonna make his tongue sticking out of his mouth. So I'm just gonna cut a piece like that. And before I glue it in, let me move my little guy off. I'm just gonna draw a little line there to look like his, his tongue. Do you see that? So I'm gonna take some glue and just glue it to the end. And you can see this is just a plain old scrap piece, right? And I'm gonna kind of roll his tongue because he's super hungry. And his tongue is just flipping all over the place. You see that? And I'm gonna stick it coming out of his mouth. And there. And I'm just gonna close the book to check that it closes and it does. You see that? And I have to just kind of adjust it a little bit, but there. So his tongue Oops, comes out of his mouth. Isn't that pretty fun? And you know what? I'm looking inside and he definitely needs some teeth in his mouth. So let me go in. I, I'll, tr I'll hold it back out and show you in a minute. And this time I think I'll just do kind of maybe little W's and then color in the negative space. The negative space is the space where his teeth are not the empty spot 
And again, boys and girls, I'm just kind of scribbling here because I want to show you what it looks like. But do you see his teeth now? And his tongue is sticking out. So if you want and you have a piece of scrap paper, you can put a tongue sticking out. So there is my next picture. So let's go back to the first one. Check him out. Monster number one. Monster number two. And now I want you to create monster number three. Okay? So, using your pencil, I want you to try to copy my guy. And if you need help, you can always pause it. And then I want you to use your imagination now and see what you can do for monster number three. All right? So for today, we're working on more illustrations. And then in the final week, we are going to add the color, okay? So for this week, again, just if you have to go back to that guy, you can work on this guy and surprise me with monster number three, okay? And I'm gonna work on one too and show you what he looks like next week. And if you're waiting for next week, you can start to add color I just like to use marker or crayon or colored pencil. For this, I think it's the easiest and it's going to probably be the cleanest, okay? So just use marker, colored pencil, or crayon, okay? And then our final week will be designing our cover and adding details, okay? So get to work. I will see you next week for part four, which is the final week, and we'll have our book ready for the holiday. All right, boys and girls, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.